Saturday, activists from across New York City gathered near Wall Street to protest against the landmark U.S. Supreme Court decision known as Citizens United versus the Federal Elections Commission. Like one of the worst decisions ever created, and what it does is it gives, you know, corporations the ability to, um, you know, give unlimited astronomical amounts of money to, um, you know, to uh, politicians, and just that it completely skews um, the 99%'s interest. The ruling has been criticized widely throughout the U.S., and thousands of petitions have been signed calling for it to be overturned. In the ruling, the U.S. Supreme Court declared financial contributions for political advertising to be a form of free speech and that these contributions could not be limited in any way. It's hypocritical in the sense that they want to say that, you know, banks or corporations are people, but those very rights that they want as people we don't even get. The protesters feel that this Supreme Court ruling is a threat to the democratic values of the United States. This is something that's got to turn around or else we won't have an America the way we knew America to be. We'll have an America totally controlled by corporations. The protesters went across the financial district of Lower Manhattan, protesting at various banking institutions and highlighting specific outrages committed by them. The protesters made clear that they felt that the wealthy had far too much power and influence over government policy. They highlighted their concern that as homes are foreclosed, unemployment rises and militarism expands, democracy seems to be slipping away. Caleb Maupin, Press TV, New York.